week-old baby is being released from Children's Hospital today after nearly two weeks of treatment for rabbit fever. Russell Haythorn just spoke with his family. And Russell, this infectious disease is rare in this day and age, but there have been an increase in cases. Teresa, doctors and experts aren't certain why that is. Maybe the wet weather we've had this year, maybe a more robust rabbit population. They say they're just not sure. 10-week-old Chase Kluger has been in the hospital for two weeks now. The bacterial infection is clinically known as tularemia, and it can be fatal in children and adults. It's called rabbit fever because it typically comes from, from small rodents and rabbits. In Chase's case, doctors say they will never know how he contracted it. It's likely Chase became infected at Sandstone Park in Longmont, the only place his mother recalls having him in a blanket, on a blanket, near the ground outside. Tularemia can be passed on by ticks, biting deer flies, or by touching an infected rodent, and sometimes even becomes airborne in the immediate proximity of dead rodents and rabbits. It's been a long road for the family, especially the first few days. You know, that was the worst part, was just not knowing what was wrong with him for days, you know? and. Uh... Once they told us what was wrong, you know, the doctor came in and said, you know, it's the strangest thing. This baby, this fellow was very lucky in that, you know, his, first of all, his parents recognized that he was sick and took him to the hospital. And then uh, often what we'll do with babies who are, you know, fevers and look sick is give them some antibiotics while we figure out what's going on. And that's actually what happened in this case. Symptoms include fever and chills. In Chase's case, he had a fever of 103. Doctors say this was much more common at the turn of the 20th century when hunting was more common and people were less protected from the environment. In Chase's case, he is expected to make a full recovery. Live at Children's Hospital, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.